What's up everyone, it's Elliot here and I am back with another movie review. So yeah, today it's The Girl on the Train and this film has been highly anticipated by a lot of people, obviously because of the meteoric success of the novel that it's based on. Now the trouble with this film is it definitely feels like a book that's been adapted for the screen. It, it feels very uninspired in the way that it's been realised by the filmmakers. This is the first film that I've seen directed by Tate Taylor and in all honesty, I'm not going to be rushing back to see all of the other films he's directed because I was not overly keen with this direction. There were so many little moments here and there that I just thought were so misguided and I just would have done differently personally. The Girl on the Train stars Emily Blunt as Rachel and now this is a woman that's very clearly unhinged. She's an alcoholic and she's depressed because of that. On her daily train commute, Rachel becomes obsessed with this woman that she sees every day through the window. She creates this story about this woman in her mind, even though she does not really know her. And one day this woman goes missing. Rachel knows that she is in some way involved in this woman's disappearance, but she can't quite piece it together in her mind because she was so drunk on the night that it happened. Rachel's ex-husband and his new wife are somehow involved as well. And the narrative basically follows Rachel as she tries to work out what has happened and how is she involved. Just as I was explaining that to you then, I was thinking about how this is such a good premise for a story. And it is such a shame that the director has executed this in such a poor way. I really commend Emily Blunt on her performance in this film, but I'm really struggling to take anything else good away from this film. Every other character in this film apart from Rachel is realised in such a one-dimensional fashion that unfortunately there's just no depth to them. The absolute biggest problem with the directing in this film is that it constantly jumps back and forth in time. And to be honest, sometimes it's really hard to work out where in the chronology the scene actually is. The filmmakers seem to be fooled in believing that this jumping back and forth in time and dumping more revelations on these characters will in some way make them more fleshed out because of it. In terms of the visuals, there's not much to say because this film is very dull to look at. It's, it's shot in such an unimaginative way and equally the soundtrack is so forgettable. Now I know that this is a comparison that everyone is going to be making but I feel that this film wants to be David Fincher's Gone Girl on every level and it fails on every level as well. In conclusion, the only good thing I can say about The Girl on the Train is that Emily Blunt gave a very strong performance. She was really batting for the Oscar. But even she could not save me from boredom. For that very reason, I'm going to give The Girl on the Train one star out of five. Once again, thank you very much for checking out this video of mine. Those were my thoughts on the film but I want to know what you thought about it. If you've seen the film, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time.